two days were pretty much downright awful as we saw overcast skies and just almost nonstop pesky rain, especially yesterday. It was really just drizzle across the area. That is finally all wrapped up. And just a few flurries last evening really add to the festive scene in downtown Lexington. Here's a live look now from our Kentucky One Health weather bug camera in Lexington Center. All is quiet, dark and early this Saturday morning. And on the Max Track Doppler, we are still tracking a few Flurries and even passing light snow showers that continue to drift through southeastern Kentucky, and it really has been driven by the elevation in that part of the Commonwealth. So really, we still could be seeing a few flurries lingering into the start of the day. No accumulation really expected, but if you are going to be driving across the mountains, just be aware there could be some slick spots as we're starting off the day. Otherwise, things are starting to settle down looking further upstream. Clouds are still intact, but eventually those will be going by the wayside into the afternoon. So we do start off cold. Cold. Temperatures are in the lower 30s as we approach lunchtime, warming into the mid to upper 30s. Skies will become mostly sunny into the afternoon, but still temperatures are going to be a, chat, a tad chilly for this first full day of winter. So here's the setup. The big storm system that was really impacting the eastern third of the U.S. over the past two days is finally tracking into southern Canada. There's high pressure well to our south along the Florida Panhandle. That's our dominant weather feature today, which is going to allow the sunshine to work its way back in. But then off to our west, just on the other side of the Mississippi River, there's a clipper system that's starting to get its act together. That's going to be tracking in throughout the day tomorrow. So on future track, things are very quiet. Those lingering flurries and light snow showers across southeastern Kentucky will be wrapping up over the next couple of hours. Through the afternoon, as that drier air works its way in, clouds will part to reveal mostly sunny skies before the sun goes down. Then we'll enjoy a couple clear hours tonight. You can catch the full cold moon that's going to be peaking tonight. But then clouds will be rushing back in as that clipper begins to track closer. We will be seeing the potential for some passing showers during the middle of the day. And clippers are usually very swift. In fact, there just may be an an eight hour window tomorrow that we track scattered showers across the area as everything will be lifting out into the evening hours. High pressure will reestablish itself on, itself on Christmas Eve and we're looking pretty good for at least the start of the Christmas celebrations. In terms of rainfall as we look throughout the day tomorrow, again, not going to be a whole lot, mainly just some light rain. So a few tenths, maybe even pushing a quarter to a half inch in some spots. After a fine looking day on Christmas Eve, we are tracking a few rain showers to move in on Christmas Day. It's also also going to be a chilly one as high temperatures will only reach the lower 40s. So instead of tracking a white Christmas, we're tracking a wet Christmas and even our white Christmas chances here in Lexington aren't all that great. About a 16% chance of seeing at least an inch of snow on the ground at dawn on Christmas Day. That's the exact definition of a white Christmas that has only happened 20 times since 1872 and weather records started being kept here in Lexington. And the last time we saw white Christmas back in 2010, in fact, last Last year we saw a trace of snow on Christmas Day, not looking likely, unfortunately, this year. So for your Saturday, if you have any last minute shopping to do or if you are traveling today, not a bad day to do so as we will be seeing high temperatures in the low 40s as clouds will break for sunshine into the afternoon. Clouds will return into the uh, late night hours tonight as temperatures drop back slightly below freezing. And then again tomorrow we are tracking some scattered showers, especially around lunchtime through the early afternoon. We dry things out on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day again, just a few passing showers will be possible. But then the rest of Christmas week is going to feature above average temperatures. We're tracking highs in the 50s starting on Wednesday. A storm system Thursday and Friday will be bringing us chances for rain, even some rumbles of thunder. We'll have more LEX 18 news at Sunrise Weekend after this.